But the oak number, while it's still very high and anything over 1500 is high, it's at least down a few hundred compared to the 2100 we saw the day before. So at least going in the right direction a little bit. But I'll remind you that the number for oak has been 1300 to 2300 in that range since February 28th. And again, 1500 and up is considered very high. This has to do, by the way, with the amount of pieces of pollen or grains of pollen per cubic meter of air. And that's a lot when that number gets up that high. We're probably going to continue with that for a few more weeks. March is when we tend to get a lot of the oak pollen. You see it falling off the trees as we speak. We've got clouds overhead this morning. Maybe we get a little mist or some drizzle in some spots, but mostly rain free. Clouds clear out a little bit later in the day. The big thing we're watching, though, and kind of big thing anyways, it's a weak front tomorrow that's going to bring our temperatures down a little, maybe some 70s instead of 80s tomorrow. Now, in the middle of the night, this front likely is going to pop up some heavier downpours much farther away from us by the morning. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow. A few showers may drift on through and even during the day with this front stalling pretty close to the I-10 area. There may be a couple showers here and there passing by, but I think more areas will be dry than will be wet in southeast Texas tomorrow. So it's not a lot of rain, but it's a slight chance there. And again, temperatures down a little. Today will be another really warm day. This afternoon we're in the mid 80s and then here's the impact from that front getting in here tomorrow. Assuming it reaches Houston, we'll get down towards the upper 70s. Area south of the front though still could see some 80 degree temperatures and the farther north of town you live, your temps will be even a little bit cooler, maybe mid or low 70s during your afternoon tomorrow. So we get that little bit of relief from that front there. It pauses right around Houston, goes back north as a warm front this weekend, which means our temperatures warm right back up 84, then 86 on Sunday. And some models are saying with the air getting drier on Sunday, we may actually get even a little warmer than that. And then the next front comes in. We will definitely be uh, substantially cooler for next week. Monday, Tuesday, we're looking at highs just under 70 degrees.